Thank you so much for joining us this morning. Please take your seats. We are going to be, uh, begin the program. I'd like to welcome everyone to the Newark Police Division 134th Recruit Class Oath of Office Ceremony. At this time, I'd like to ask everyone to please turn off your cell phones or kindly switch them to silent mode. I will ask all uniformed personnel in attendance today to remain covered for the duration of the ceremony. My name is Leo Carrillo. I'm a captain here in the Newark Police Division. I'm pleased to be your master of ceremonies this morning. Please stand for the presentation of colors by the Newark Police Department Ceremonial Unit. At this time, I would like to introduce Officer Brian Holmes of the Newark Police Division to sing our national anthem. standing for the invocation which will be delivered by Reverend William Hicks Sr. of the Whole Life World Changing Church. Welcome. Welcome. A word into your lives for the rest of your lives. Father God, I stand before you in this place thanking you 
for these officers, Father God, thanking you for your hand upon them, thanking you that they made a decision a long time ago to do the work, the good work. They made the decision, Father God, before they filled out the application, before they joined the academy, before they graduated, a long time ago in their hearts and in their minds, they made a decision to serve. So I ask you, Father God, to continue to grow that spirit of servanthood into them, Father God. Continue to strengthen them a body, mind, and spirit as they go forth in this great city doing a great work, Father God. I'm asking you, Father God, to continue to open their spiritual eyes so they can see more clearly the work that they have to do in this great city. Continue to open their spiritual ears wider that they may hear more clearly your messages and instructions to them as they do the great work in this great city. I ask you, Father God, more than anything, Father God, to grant them greater wisdom so they know not just how to do this work, but when to do it and why to do it, and that they, Father God, grow deeper in their commitment to servanthood, Father God. I commend and I declare great things for each and every one of these officers, Father God, as they perform their duties, as they grow in their ranks, as they grow, Father God, to be known in their communities where they serve, Father God. I'm asking you, Father God, to continue to give them a heart for servanthood. I ask you, Father God, to connect them to the communities, Father God, to their or senior officers, Father God, their commanders, Father God, and just, Father God, working them in such a way that everybody who see these officers, Father God, on duty in their various communities will know that these officers are sent by you to serve and to protect and to do great work in this city, making it even greater by your grace, by your mercy, ever to your glory. In the mighty matchless name of Jesus, Messiah. Please take your seats. <clears throat> I would like to take a moment to acknowledge and thank all of our dignitaries and invited guests for attending today's ceremony. In particular, I'd like to thank the Honorable Mayor, Raj J. Baraka. I would also like to thank Public Safety Director Fritz Frage, Assistant Public Safety Director Rufus Jackson, Deputy Police Director Sharonda Morris, and Deputy Mayor of Public Safety Lakeisha Yuri. I'd also like to thank our City Council members. At this time, I would like to introduce Mayor Raj Baraka for a few words. Good morning. First, I'd just like to thank uh, Director Frage, Deputy Director, Assistant Director, uh, Deputy Mayor over there as well, uh, command staff uh, that are here with us today. Congratulations to all of you. I know you went through this once and you got to go through it again uh, so we can swear you in. Uh, I just think, you know, just a point of information uh, for you. In 2014, I did something similar. I had to be sworn in uh, as well. A couple of weeks uh, after my swearing in, I had to go to the Department of Justice and have a negotiation myself and the lawyers that represent the city of Newark uh, because we were uh, a consent decree was being put on the police department here uh, in the city of Newark because of patterns and practices that we engaged in in the past. Uh, I am uh, extremely elated and proud of the progress that we've made as a police department, as a unit, as, as a city, uh, that we have partially been released from that and will soon be completely released from that, uh, I would say in a couple of months. Uh, these guys and, and ladies in our police department uh, went on a long uh, and introspective journey uh, to transform this police department to one of the best police departments in my estimation, uh, not only in the state but in the country. There are people who come here from all over the country to visit and sit and talk with us about the transformation uh, that this department went under. Uh, in fact, uh, in uh, the, the, the tragic um, death of George Floyd caused all kinds of uh, disruption all over the country. 
uh, in Newark, we did not experience that. And I think we didn't experience that because of the journey that we were on and the things that we completed uh, and the relationship we had with OVP and with the community. Um, I sat here the other day and saw police officers being honored for incredible things, from putting breath back in babies who were choking and about to lose their life, uh, for putting themselves in harm's way between uh, strangers uh, and immediate danger, uh, who exercised incredible levels of restraint uh, that most people would not uh, be able to do. Uh, most human beings wouldn't be able to exercise that level of restraint. Uh, and, I, and I honestly believe that that has to do with the kind of training that, that we undergo here, the thoughtfulness that we have, and the relationship we have with this community. And I bring that up because we want you to add to that. Your presence here, your graduation, your getting this uniform, we swearing you in uh, this morning, brings you uh, to us to be a part of the, one of the finest police departments in this nation and you have to make it better, uh, fairer, stronger, more just. You have to do that. Uh, you know, as these folks begin to retire, you guys are going to fill in, in, their in their seats as you move up in the ranks. And so we need you to be focused. We need you to join the ranks of this police department, and we need you to be fine and incredible police. That's what we need. Uh, and as a result of all of that, we witnessed homicides go down. We witnessed violence go down. We're doing an incredible job in this city, thanks to this police department and the relationships they have with the people in this community. And we need you to sustain that and continue that and make it better. God speed to you. Thank you, Mayor. At this time, I'd like to call or introduce uh, Public Safety Director Fritz Frager. A few words. Good morning, graduates. Uh, first, uh, I know protocol has already been set. I'd like to thank uh, Mayor Ross J. Baraka for all of his support and uh, specifically support where, and the council members who are not here today. Uh, I'd like to thank them and Ross J. Baraka for all this support specifically for the classes we have, uh, the past almost two year journey. We've never been told no to put classes through your academy. In fact, it's always been yes. They found a way to get us the funds to put police and fire classes through. In fact, recently we had the largest fire class come through here ever in the history of the state of New Jersey. So uh, Newark is definitely uh, setting, setting the landmark uh, of supporting police, fire, uh, and public safety. I thank Director, I mean, not Director, Deputy Mayor Yuri for supporting us. Our relationship with OVP is instrumental in our success. Uh, we are, in fact, the entire country is following that, federally and through the state, whether the state goes through our together or other instances. We've already been doing it in, in Newark through the Office of Violence Prevention and Trauma Recovery, uh, coming up into all of our um, uh, investigations and, and domestic violence situations. They're in our precincts to support us and go out there and, prov and provide outreach to the community. The reason I bring up the community is, is twofold. They provide outreach to the community. The police department is an extension of that outreach to the community. You are part of the community. And as the mayor was just talking about us being in the consent decree and being partially removed and pushing forward to hopefully be removed within the next several months, that's due to the hard work of all the police officers we have in the city of Newark. Uh, in your academy training, you learn the basic methods of de-escalation and discretion. Use those wisely. De-escalation is key, key, to keeping that fundamental relationship and bond we have with the community. All your um, supervisors to, to your right, command staff, almost all of them are in new positions in the past two years of pushing us forward to put this department in the best light in front of America and in front of our community. Use your training, go back, review it, understand it, and listen. Because we need you to be out there in the community. You will be out there in the community. All of you will be going out there on foot patrol, 
to engage in the community and have those conversations. That's the first step, introduce yourself. Get to know them so when they call you, they have a relationship with you. Uh, in law enforcement, the only time we're really called is when something bad happens. It's different for the fire department. When there's the fire department, you're going there to stop a fire and save somebody's life. In ours, we're required to investigate crimes that are violent. We're, we're meeting families in traumatic situations. So the contact they have with police are not as pleasant as in uh, the other parts of public safety, like fire. This is your opportunity to make sure you mend those relationships to engage with the store owners as you walk on Urban Turner Boulevard on, or on South Orange Avenue, to have conversations with people, say hello, hello, good morning. Those things go a long way where they can see you as part of them because you are. You've taken an oath to, to protect and serve the citizens of this community in the city of Newark. God bless you and Godspeed. Thank you, Director. Now we're going to move to the oath of office portion of today's event. Good morning, Mayor Raj J. Baraka, and I'm here to administer the oath of office uh, for police officers this morning. Uh, please repeat after me. I state your name. I do solemnly swear, solemnly swear that I will support the Constitution of the United States and the Constitution of the State of New Jersey, that I will bear true faith and allegiance to the same. And to the governments established in the United States, and in this state, under the authority of the people, I do solemnly swear that I will faithfully, impartially, and justly perform all the duties of the office of police officer, police division, Department of Public Safety of the city of Newark, of the city of Newark. According, to the according to the best of my ability. So help me God. So help me God. Congratulations. Congratulations. Congratulations to you, to you all. Please take your seats. At this time, I'd like to call Lieutenant John Underwood of the Newark Police Division to deliver our benediction. Father, we thank you. As these new police officers dwell out in this community, we ask you to give them the heart of yours, Lord. We ask that they protect the drunkards, protect the people that have addictions. We ask that they help each and every one that needs help in this community, giving them a second chance. We ask that you cover each and every one of them as they move out in this city. Keep them covered, Lord. Keep them covered with your everlasting love and your faith. We ask that they be able to stand up when it's time and sit down when needed. We ask that they do the duties of this uh, city. For you said that nothing comes good out of Nazareth, and that's where Jesus Christ came from. They say that about Newark, and that's where we come from. We ask that you keep us lifted, keep us safe, cover the mayor, cover our director, and cover the chief the, and everyone else in the command staff as we move forward, protecting our city of so many denominations of so many ethnic groups, that you keep us in your everlasting love and keep us lifted right now forevermore. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. amen.
Before we conclude today, there's going to be an opportunity to take a picture outside. We're going to have all of the new officers stand on the stairs for a class picture. But on behalf of the Newark Department of Public Safety, I'd like to thank you all once again and congratulate our newest officers. Thank you, everyone, in attendance for your support. And this concludes this portion of the ceremony. We'll be stepping out outside now. Thank you so much. Wait, wait.